mate, me teacher's always told me I'd never get anywhere huffing fumes and staring at the sun, mate. But here I am, 100 bucks an hour to sit in a shed and weld all me co-workers shit into elaborate cages every day. Yep, welding might just be some of the easiest money on the planet, mate, serious. Oh, but you need a steady hand and Fuck that! As long as you can hold the grinder and know how to press the top down on a can of Julux, mate, you're off to the races. <laughs> Serious, mate, there isn't a single c in here that actually knows how to weld. Everyone just understands that as long as you return to the scene of the crime with the flappy disc and a bit of Sikaflex, no one can fucking tell the difference. Alright, now this bastard's ready to be sent off to... Qantas Airlines. Yeah, she's a pretty sweet gig, mate, but fuck me, is it tough on your body. I mean, I've only been here two weeks. I'm already deaf, blind, can't smell or taste anything, burnt all my fingertips off, and set myself on fire twice. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You're gonna make it, mate. You're gonna make but it. honestly, if you want an easy way to know if a job's for you, mate, just take a look around the workshop of some of the older blokes, you know? And see what 20 years on the job does to you. You know, the old boiler maker in the corner, you can't understand a fucking word he's saying because he's just raw dog 30 years worth of carcinogenic fumes up the nostrils. Coming in every morning with the shakes from the alcohol withdrawals, the only way you can get a decent weld out of him is to oil him up like the fucking tin man. Yeah, being in the shop's good and all, but if you're after some real coin, mate, and you can hack it, that is, being out on site's the place to be. Oh, I reckon the workshop's way better, mate, you know? Fridge full of piss, fucking smoke -o van, and the apprentices have fucking nowhere to hide. Serious, they're good for everything, mate. Filling up the old communal piss bottle in the fridge for when the drug bloke comes round, being the scapegoat down the smoke -o van for all the boys. But best of all, mate, has got to be the old apprentice cockfighting ring we got set up. Yeah, we spend all week fabricating some elaborate feud between the apprentices, and Friday half comes round, we get them out in the car park and convince them to punch on. It's fucking brilliant. Oi, hey, Jado, David reckons you're a pole smoking, mate. And get this, he saw your mum at the brothel, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Got him, mate. Come on, come on, give him one. What did he say about your mum, mate? Oh, I got money on Jado. Money on f that, mate. I'm all in, all f in on Big Dave, mate. mate. F that. that. Look at the size of him. Oh, oh. oh damn it, oh. David. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's this week's pay gone, mate, which means uh, I am going to have to lick the wounds a little bit, you know, jump on the old two-minute noodles and sleep on the floor of the shed for a while, but, uh, you know, don't stress, mate. A bloke like me always lands on his feet. You know, come this time next week, I'll be f***ing swimming in it. Oh, fuck! What is the charge? Eating a meal? I can't get to her. She sealed off for the rest of my life. I can't hear anything. <laughs> We're on set with young Gravenator. How hot is it, mate? Oh, that's hot. Holy, that's a hot bowl. That's a hot take right there. Oh. Cheers for watching, boys. Now, if you know us, you know we're always busy behind the scenes, mate. And a couple of months ago, Blake hits us up on the Discord talking about, oh, I'm making a game. I said, stick it up your ass. He said, oh, I don't think you understand, mate. It's Ned Kelly game. I said, yeah, put me in there. And he did. So that's ready to go now, mate. We've got a little skit in there for the boys. You know, it's fully yeah. voiced, of course. So if you want to check that out, mate, you can play the demo right fucking now. And if you like it, there's a Kickstarter going, mate. You can go check that out. It's made by a bunch of blokes down in South Australia. Now, I've met them, and they seem like a bunch of weird cunts, but uh, that's how you know, you know, the, the product, it's going to be a good game. But anyway, cheers for watching. Cheers for supporting the boys, and we'll see you next time.